Hi, welcome to this course introduction for the Serverless ML course. My name is Jim Dowling. I'm an associate professor at KTH, Royal Institute of Technology and CEO of Hopsworks. I'm joined in this course by David and Lex, who also work at Hopsworks. A little bit about the course. <clears throat> so who are the intended audience for this course? What do you need to know? What are you going to learn in the course? What are you going to cover in the course? When is it going to happen? and how do I get help and, and a bit more details on what the course will be about. That's what we're going to go through now. So the intended audience for this particular course, Serverless ML, are people who have some experience programming Python and probably notebooks. We hope that you have some experience in ML, machine learning, already. It's not a, a prerequisite, but it, it will help the, the course go smoother and faster. But what we really want you to be able to do is to be able to build prediction services. So to take a model, make an application or a service intelligent. And that's really what we want from you as a prerequisite. We want you to be somebody who wants to take the next step in machine learning beyond just notebooks to building actual intelligent services. You also may be somebody who wants to know the fundamentals of machine learning operations or ML ops, and you'll cover that in this course as well. So the prerequisites are programming with Python. What's really good to have, apart from machine learning experience or done a basic course in machine learning, is experience with Pandas, the Pandas framework in Python, and also having used GitHub before because we'll be using GitHub. Now, the learning outcomes of this course, when you've completed the course, we expect that you will have learned to be able to develop and operate an AI-enabled application or service um, that runs on serverless infrastructure. So you're going to learn how to develop the feature pipelines for this prediction service and run those on serverless infrastructure. You're going to learn how to deploy features and models to serverless infrastructure, how to train your models and run inference pipelines again on serverless infrastructure, and also how to develop UIs on serverless infrastructure to make your models interactive. You're going to learn the fundamentals of machine learning operations or ML ops. That includes versioning of your assets like features and models, automated testing, validating the data for these features or models, and how to operate these platforms. And finally, we'll look at real-time machine learning. So how can we do serverless real-time machine learning? Now, the course is built up into a number of what we call modules, and each module will run for one week. So in module one, we'll cover Pandas, machine learning pipelines, and Python, and we're even going to write our first serverless app. It's going to be a variant of the Iris Flower dataset, if you're familiar with that. In module two, we're going to go more details onto features, how we manage features, and even how we manage models. Um, and we're going to look at the credit card fraud prediction service. That's going to be the, the main project that we'll work through throughout this course. In module three, we'll look at training pipelines and inference pipelines. Uh, module four, we're going to look at user interfaces in more details. Module five, we'll look at, at the ML ops, ops aspect, so automated testing and versioning of features and models. And in module six, we'll look at real-time machine learning. And we'll also uh, present the, the proposals for projects. So the lectures will be available on, on, uh, on YouTube, and you can watch them uh, streamed live on Zoom every week. The course material is available both at our website and on our GitHub site. You can get everything on the GitHub page listed here. Um, and the lectures will be released every week on Tuesdays. We have what are called office hours, a period of time where you can answer questions. And in these office hours, we'll also go through the solutions to homework from the previous weeks. Um, and the office times, as you can see here, are given in Pacific time, 8 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the afternoon in Central European time, 20 30 in Indian Standard Time and 11 o'clock in the evening in China's Chinese Standard Time. The project that we'll build at the end is basically your own prediction service. So if you have an idea for a prediction service now, there's nothing to stop you starting today. We're going to have, a week after the end of the course, a deadline for um, a, a competition for who can build the best prediction service, serverless prediction service. And there's $10,000 of prizes. This is sponsored by Hopsworks. We'll announce the winners shortly after um, the deadline for entry. The course will also include exercises. There will be homework exercise at the end of each module and the final project that we all already mentioned where we'll have prizes. We'll have a leaderboard of some sorts and we'd encourage people to inv uh, be involved in shared learning, learning from each other, making your uh, homework available so that other people can inspect it and you can learn from each other faster. 
The project, a little bit more detail about it, it is really to build your own serverless prediction service based on machine learning. Um, there will be a certificate and swag for anybody who passes the project and passes their homework. And um, the people who submit projects, we can, we can make them or, and, and agree to it, we can make them public so that we can show off the kind of cool prediction services that we build in this uh, in this particular course. We have some ideas for kind of nice ones like, hey, wouldn't it be great to know air quality in your location? And we can use weather predictions to maybe uh, correlate those to air quality. Um, you can do the same for water quality. Um, there are other ideas related to predicting aurora borealis that may already be there. Um, but electricity prices, there's there, are, there are an infinite number of project ideas that you might have. Um, that, that because society has digitized re so much recently that a lot of information is available with historical observations uh, of things and you can build predictive models around those. So if you're to submit a project and you want to uh, compete for the prizes, you will have to um, make your, your code public, open source, should be licensed under an open source license. So you'll need to make it available through a GitHub repository. Now, you will be able to get help. So we're going to be available on the FeatureStore.org public Slack. FeatureStore.org are, are sponsoring this course, the creation of the course. They have a Slack and there's a channel on that Slack called serverless-ml-course. So keep the discussion for this course on that particular channel. Please don't you know, uh, spill over that discussion onto other channels on that Slack. Um, you can ask questions there at office hours and we'll, we'll, we'll answer them live. Um, but we'd also enc encourage you to learn from one another, to ask questions and answer each other's questions on that Slack. Um, you'll also be able to do things like in, in the platform that we're going to use for managing features and, and uh, models, Hopsworks, you can even have multiple people in projects. So you can invite other people into your project so they can see what you're working on and see how your uh, system performs and so on. Um, we will be using Hopsworks as a platform for managing features and models. So if you encounter issues with Hopsworks or questions about it, you can uh, report those through the GitHub issues tracker on, on the open source Hopsworks platform. It's available at the link uh, given below. Um, and that's it. You know, uh, we're really looking forward to this course. Um, you can get help on our website and you can find us on the GitHub page. And please give us a star. Um, if we get enough stars, you know, maybe we'll get managed to make it a GitHub trending and that will encourage even more people to participate in this course that we really believe will help data scientists bring their data science skills to the next level. Thank you.